Hi all, my name is Spike and I work at the Susanna Dickinson and O. Henry Museums in Austin, Texas. Today I'm going to read you a wonderful book. It's called A Friendship Yarn and it's by Lisa Moser with illustrations by Olga Demidova. A Friendship Yarn by Lisa Moser, illustrated by Olga Demidova. Badger and Porcupine met under the walnut tree and shared a pot of tea like they did every morning. As the day warmed up, Porcupine helped Badger rake leaves and Badger helped Porcupine stir a big pot of apple butter. Badger sniffed the air. Winter weather is coming. That's a cold cup of tea, sighed Porcupine. I'll have to gather firewood. This is my last log. Don't worry, said Badger. I'll help you. You are such a dear friend, said Porcupine. The two friends walked into the woods to gather logs. Porcupine took the high trail. Badger took the low one. A peddler's cart jingle jangled down the road. A ball of yarn tumbled out and unrolled and unrolled and unrolled until a bright colored string of yarn stretched out the length of the woods. Porcupine picked up one end of the yarn. Far away, Badger picked up the other end of the yarn. Come back, called Badger. You lost your yarn, called Porcupine. Keep it, said the peddler, waving merrily. Don't have time to stop. Badger looked at the yarn. I can pick up logs later. I'll use this yarn to knit a backpack for picnics with Porcupine. Badger ran home, jumped over her pile of books, and dove under her bed for her knitting needles. Porcupine looked at her yarn. Well, fill my sugar bowl. Who needs logs? This is exactly what I need to make a lovely tablecloth for tea time with Badger. She dashed home and pulled her knitting needles out of her tidy sewing basket. Clickety-click, snickety-snick went Badger's needles. But when she had only three stitches to go, the whole thing unraveled. Floop, 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 floop. Clickety-click, snickety-snick went Porcupine's needles. But when she had only three stitches to go, the whole thing unraveled. Floop, 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 floop. Porcupine followed the yarn to Badger's house. I think you have my yarn, said Porcupine. This is my yarn, said Badger. The peddler gave it to me. Well, flatten my cake. You're wrong, said Porcupine. The peddler gave it to me. She stomped back to her house. Cookie crumbles, said Porcupine. I'll make something for myself, a tail for my kite. Clickety-click, snickety-snick, floop, 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 floop. Oh, a rain cloud, said Badger. I'll knit a hat to keep warm and dry. Too bad for Porcupine. Clickety-click, snickety-snick. Floop, 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 floop. A net to catch walnuts, said Porcupine, and I won't share any. Clickety click, snickety snick, floop, 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 floop. A hammock for me, me, and just me, said Badger. Clickety click, snickety snick, floop, 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 floop. A tent to hide in, said Porcupine, so I never have to see Badger again. Clickety-click, snickety-snick, floop, 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 floop. A sail for my boat, said Badger, so I can sail far, far away from Porcupine. Clickety-click, snickety-snick, floop, 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 floop. Badger pounded on Porcupine's door. Give me back my yarn. It's mine, cried Porcupine. Mine, yelled Badger. You're not my friend anymore, said Porcupine. I don't want to be your friend, and I don't want to be your neighbor, said Badger. I can fix this, said Porcupine. She went to her sewing basket and cut the yarn in half. I'm leaving, and I'm never coming back, yelled Badger. Holding her yarn, Badger ran into the woods. Hours passed. Porcupine huddled by her empty fireplace. A snowstorm whistled down the chimney. Badger is my friend and she will be cold and lonely out there. I have to help her. Porcupine pulled out her knitting needles. She headed into the cold, dark night. Badger hunkered down in an old log and worried. It's 
getting colder every minute and Porcupine is out of firewood. She'll be freezing. She's my friend. I have to help her. Badger pulled out her knitting needles. She headed into the cold, dark night. Clickety-click, snickety-snick, click-snick, oof. Porcupine and Badger ran straight into each other. Well, polish my silver, said Porcupine. I found you. You're safe. Put on this sweater I knit for you. Quick, said Badger. It's freezing out here. Put on this sweater I knit for you. Porcupine and Badger admired their new sweaters. I'm sorry we fought, said Porcupine. Me too, said Badger. Will you come over for toast and apple butter, asked Porcupine. Love to, said Badger, picking up a bunch of logs. You're going to need these. The two friends headed home together into the night that didn't feel so very cold or very dark after all. The end. I love this book so much, and I love it for a lot of different reasons. I'm going to tell you two of the reasons. First of all, a lot of knitting happens in this book, and I love knitting. I knit. In a minute, I'm going to show you some of my knitting. But the part that I really like the best is that, you know how Badger and Porcupine have an argument, and they get madder and madder? Well, have you ever had... Um, an argument with your friend or maybe your brother or your sister or somebody else in your family and both people are angry and then you think, I never want to talk to them again. But when that happens to me, it makes me feel scared and, and unhappy inside. I always like it better when we're not arguing. So in this book, I love it how Badger and Porcupine finally figure out Let's not argue, let's be friends again because it's so fun to be friends. I really like that a lot. Today, I brought some of my knitting to show because in the book, several times, Porcupine and Badger are knitting and then their knitting gets unraveled. And if you don't knit and you don't know what unraveled means, I'm gonna show you. First of all, I brought this ball of yarn, which I made myself from sheep's wool. I spun this yarn myself, and then I brought my gigantic knitting needles. Look how big they are. So when I'm knitting, I put my needles together and I make another stitch and another stitch, and it's a loop inside of a loop. It's actually really cool that with one piece of string, because yarn is just like string, you can make so many things. You can make a sweater or a hat or a scarf. Now, if I just put this string on my head, it's not gonna keep my head very warm in the cold. But if I knit it together, I can make a hat to keep my head warm. But in the book, when they're knitting, sometimes it comes unraveled. And I'm gonna show you what that means. If you have anybody at your house that knits, I'm gonna ask you, please don't do this with their knitting. But I think when you unravel something, it makes a really cool sound and it feels really cool too. So look, I'm taking my knitting, all those loops, and I'm just turning them back into string. It's also cool because doesn't it kind of look like a flower? So it's fun to put things together and sometimes it's fun to take things apart. Ta-da!